Hey yo everyone, in this video I'm giving you a guide on how your character can become a werewolf in Elder Scrolls Online and what are its ups and downs. Let's get right into it. So just like in Skyrim, your character can be infected with lycanthropy like and become a werewolf in ESO as well. Playing the game in this transform state is a whole new experience after the regular class of your character, but it has advantages and disadvantages too. In beast form, you can only use the werewolf abilities. You will get a bonus in physical and spell resistance, gain 25% stamina and 15% stamina recovery. Your speed also gets increased by 33%. The downside of this state is that you will get more damage from poison attacks and fighter guild skills. But if you have the ultimate on your active action bar in normal form, your character will get 15% stamina recovery bonus. So as you can see, Lycanthropy is stamina based, so it works better with the stamina build. There are three different ways you can be infected with Lycanthropy. The hardest way is to get infected by a werewolf NPC. They spawn in specific parts of the Rift, Bankerai and Reaper's March, and only at night. There is a myth among players that you have a better chance when it's full moon in the game, but in reality it has nothing to do with the spawn rate. To get the infection, all you have to do is just walk up to the werewolves and let them attack you. If you're lucky enough, you will see Senya Lupinus in your character page. This method is very time consuming and I can say it for sure how long it would take to get the infection this way because the second method is much easier and faster and I always use that one. So the second way to become a werewolf is to get infected by another player who already has lycanthropy. You will only need social skills. Oh no, the hardest skill line ever. Simply ask for a bite in the zone chat near one of the shrines of Hersin. The ritual sites can be found in the same regions as the werewolves, so there is one in the Rift, next to Riften, there is one in Bankorai near the Viridian of Wei Shrine, and the third one is in Reaper's March next to the fourth Sphinx Mot Wei Shrine. If you choose this method, watch out for the scammers. Some people used to ask for gold in exchange for a bite, but they just simply run away with the money. So if you can't find somebody who is giving it for free, make sure to get bitten before you pay the gold to avoid scams. Social skills. There is a third way you can get the werewolf skill line. For 1500 crowns you can buy it in the crown store. I don't recommend this method because it is very expensive considering the fact that you can get it for free with the previous methods. Alright, after you get the infection, you can start the Hersin's Gift questline by speaking to Tareki in Ral Ka, Riften or Evermore based on your alliance. After that you will need to go to Hersin's shrine and talk to the Peckmaster who will open a portal to Hersin's realm for you. On the hunting grounds, your character will be transformed into a werewolf for unlimited time and you will be asked to hunt down a giant snake, snow troll, mammoth or a vomasu. I don't know what that is, but ESO Wiki says it looks like this. Now, since you can be a werewolf for an unlimited time in this realm and you gain experience in lycanthropy, I advise you to stay in this place and grind until you reach the maximum level of the werewolf skill line. Once you leave this place, it will be much harder to level up your skills because of the time limit of the transform state. After the quest is over, you're gonna need to feed on the enemy corpses to stay in werewolf form. When you reach level 6 on the skill line, you can unlock the Blood Moon passive and you're gonna be able to turn other players into werewolves as well. This can be done every 7 days in real time. Also, note that you can't infect a player who has already been infected with vampirism. And that's it for this guide. I hope you liked it and it was helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. I hope you will have a fun time playing a werewolf character, and until next time, bye!